Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to decorate a spread in my super thick, chunky catch-all planner. Um, I just put out a um, setup video yesterday. If you didn't see that, um, I'll try to link it somewhere in this video up in the corner, but I just basically took my catch-all planner, put it on expander disc, and added a bunch of um, social media content inserts. I lost my words. So anyways, today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of April 22nd through the 28th. Um, this is the, the last week, actually. I'm filming a little bit late. This is Monday. Um, today is the 22nd already. Oh my gosh. My youngest baby will be 17 on the 30th of this month, which how in the world is that happening already? But anyway, so I do want to show you real quick though. I have 10 new releases coming to my shop at midnight. So starting Friday, as soon as it turns Friday, April 26th, um, these 10 new designs with matching sticker kits will be available in my shop. Now I have mentioned, and I didn't even check today. Let me check real quick and see if my the pleasantly planned web address is working properly today okay so it's not working yet today is monday the 22nd wix who was my previous e-commerce platform sent me an email whenever i transferred the domain over in the middle of last week and told me that it would be done today so um anyways you can access my shop and my website i've already mentioned this a couple times in previous videos last week um just go to pleasantlyplanned.com don't put the eight T-H-E. Don't put the in front of Pleasantly Planned. So go to PleasantlyPlanned.com. It's my whole new website, my whole new shop. Um, let me know what you think of it. So anyways, um, all of these are going to also be available in principles. So these are the only principles that I will have available right now. I'm debating on actually uploading any of my older style printables because I'm kind of changing up the way that I do my principles. I've sized them now to be the same size as my large sticker sheet. That way when you print it out, you'll get this if you do an actual size printout. And then you can change the sizing to get different size sheets on your own. Um, all of my um, printables come with the large sticker sheet and the large kit for you to print at home. Um, these are not, they're not Cricut files. They are PDF files to be printed at home. Now it's up to you if you wanna try to find some type of web program. I've had people ask before um, that would will convert a PDF to a PNG file, which is what you need in Cricut. And if you do that on your own, you know, that's fine. Just don't sell my these designs because then I'll get in trouble. Um, for licensing issues. I do have license to sell them like this, but not for you to print them and, or not print them, basically steal them and sell them. So anyways, this is Benevolent. This is the one that I'm gonna be using in the current spread. This is the matching kit. My kits also come in this small size as well, which is basically half of the size of the large sheet. So we have Benevolent that I'm gonna be using today. I'm actually going to try something different and use white paper because the colors on my white paper are, they just, they stand out. They are so pretty on my white paper. And since most of these florals with this release are like a dainty, um, they're really dainty colors. So the white paper is to me, it just makes the colors look a lot better. So these are striking, very pretty. There's your matching kit. We have Intrepid. I'll show you the large sheet and the matching kit. We have Fearless. Sometimes I have a time trying to come up with names for my florals, but we make it work somehow. So this is Fearless. And again, there's three sizes. So you have the large, the small, and the mini. This is Flirtatious. Very pretty colors. And then I'll show you, um, I printed these on clear paper just to see the difference. And these are infatuation. These are really pretty, like almost like country shabby chic colors. Very pretty, like farmhousey look. So your matching kit and your sticker sheets. Then we have fervent. So fervent has these pretty yellows and like almost deep 
dark pink and green. Really pretty. And then I thought of, I think it's Javon. I think you're the one that asked for bright, colorful florals. So we have passionate, bright, happy colors. We have Valiant. Again, soft, shabby, chic, almost farmhouse look. I love the colors. I love the softness of this color palette. So gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have Tender. Tender, again, is like a, a almost like country, little house on the prairie colors is what these florals, a lot of these florals remind me of. Just like a, a, a prairie setting out in the country so yeah so anyways these will all be released at midnight so friday april 26th um all stickers in my shop are still 50 percent off so that includes um printables i need to double check that but that should include printables and quotes um so yeah let's get started with the plan with me so like i mentioned i am going to try to use white stickers because of the coloring um, but it's going to throw me off a little bit because if you've been here, you know, I love my clear background stickers, but I just, these flowers are so pretty and so dainty that I just feel like the white paper is just going to make them stand out so much better. So let's, I hope I'm zoomed in enough for you guys too. Let's see how we can place this one. And we're going to cut the excess off. Trying to get over this cold, and now my youngest just sent me um, a text message from his bedroom and said he has some severe sinus pain, no coughing yet. Um, so I went ahead and took him some Dayquil and some Zyrtec to try to get him dried up. So I guess we're just going to spread the love around here. All right, I think I want to take this whirl and stick it in the middle. I'm going to have to try to avoid covering up Sunday, though. Maybe I'll take this one and do that. Let's try this one. These colors are so pretty. Let's see. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. All right, let's see if I can trim this down the center. Perfect. Now I am gonna have to grab my crocodile punch and go ahead and punch the little disc punch holes before I forget. Come here. I did clean my scissors the other day. You guys will be proud of me. I got all the sticky funk off of them, even though they're supposed to be non-stick scissors. <laughs> And I apologize, I am going to be sniffling. It's just one of those, I'm at the point in this cold where nothing comes out. It's just sniffle, sniffle, nothing comes out. So I hope it all comes out soon because I'm tired of it being here. All right, now, I think I want to continue. Hmm. I think I want to do a little bit more down here. So... I think we'll take this and come down here and I'm going to try to cut this sticker almost in half so I can use the rest of it over there without wasting any. I love these this white paper sticker and I don't have to white out anything either. It makes life a lot easier. Look how pretty that is. The colors are just so pretty on the white, the white paper, the white background. Okay, now let's see if we can't take and do a little something up in this corner up here. Maybe like that. So I don't know if you guys have been watching on Instagram, but Go Wild was this past week and I was living vicariously through everyone's pictures and videos. Um, of course, you know, I get FOMO because I didn't go, but 
Texas is a little far from home, so I didn't want to travel too far from my boys. Hopefully next year it'll be somewhere a little closer. I don't know. It might be on the West Coast again next year. We'll see. But I tend to like to stick pretty close to home travel-wise. So we'll see what happens next year with Go Wild as to whether or not I make it. But it looks like everybody had a really good time. So that's a good thing. I'm going to cut this little stem off here. I don't want that. Let me know down in the comments, did you go to Go Wild? Did you have fun? It looked like a good time for sure. As a matter of fact, last year, I went to Go Wild and came home and ended up having the flu. So somewhere along either at Go Wild or on my trip home, I actually left early because I wasn't feeling very well. I think I left on Friday. Um, and I don't know if I picked it up like when I stopped at a gas station or at Chick-fil-A on the way home, but I picked up the flu somewhere. So it's almost like a year to the date that I've had some some sort of cold or funk going on. But this is not um, COVID or the flu. This is just some kind of upper respiratory infection. So I'm going to try something here. I love this green color. I love it. I'm going to take this lavender color and put it right there. So pretty. And then this green color is my absolute favorite, so I'm definitely going to use it. And then we'll take a pink and maybe stick down here on, I might just do this. No, actually, I'm going to take it and put it over here. I don't know where I want to put it. Maybe I'll do a long one there. Let's do that. Let's take the long pink and go here with it. There we go. All right, we'll save this one and use it on the other side. So now let's decorate around the boxes a little bit with some florals. Um, that one's a little big. I want to use a smaller one. I think we'll use this one here. I'm not going to white anything out. I mean, not white out. I'm not going to try to go under. Like a lot of times I go under the boxes. We're going to stay on top of the boxes and just see how easy, how simple decorating a spread is with using the white stickers. So far, it's very easy. Look how cute that is already. Like this just, it was so easy, so simple to put together. So, all right, let's go to this side. And I'm definitely going to use the green box because I love the green. So, let's take this green and a pink and I think we're going to put these down here. I've been tracking my social media stats. I don't know that I'll track those anymore because I did put the new social media inserts in my planner but we'll kind of see where that goes as to as far as like what I put down here in this bottom corner. Okay, and then I do need a lavender somewhere. Um, let's see, what quote do I want to use? I want to use, once you become Fearless, you become limitless. So I might put that down here. So then we'll just put this box up here and just kind of decorate around it with some florals a little bit. I think I'm gonna put it in the center or close to the center. It's not gonna be perfect, but. Okay, 
put that there and then we'll come along the side and put this one uh, maybe here yeah that's cute I should have white it out important but it's okay all right let's put my quote down I love having pretty spreads like this like it all they always make me want to come to my planner and write things down and get things done so it really helps when you have pretty decorative elements in your planner it just it just keeps me motivated to want to write in my planner look how pretty this is y'all I'm in love okay so now I just need to add a little bit of washi maybe it almost looks like it doesn't really need washi um, I gathered these three washi tapes, but to be honest, I'm not going to use any of them. I don't think this spread needs any washi. What do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments. Would you do, would you do washi if you were me? Because I don't think it needs washi. I think it's like very pretty the way it is. I am going to add one floral like right here in between these boxes. I'm going to wipe this out. And we're going to put this right here. Just because I felt like it needed it. This looks so dainty and so country. And sh oh, it just, oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to write in it. I, I, I love my pretty spreads, but then it makes me not want to write in them. Um, but it does make me want to keep turning to them and looking at them and getting things done, checked off. So... Okay, I think that's it for this spread. Let's put it back in my planner. Y'all let me know, did you like it? Are you going to head over to my website Friday and get your stickers 50% off? I've already ordered some more sticker paper, so it is on the way. It should be here Thursday or Friday. So um, I will start working on the, those orders. If not, so the release will be on Friday the 26th. I will try to start working on them Saturday. I've been trying to not work on the weekends. We'll see how that goes. But we'll definitely be getting those orders um, started on and shipped out the first week of May. So here's what it looks like. Oliver's grumbling in the background because that's what he does. So this is it for this video. I'm going to film a couple more. So I'll see you over on the next one. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me over on Instagram and I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye y'all.